わらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわらわ Like procrastination, this episode aired on October 19, 2001, and it's the last episode to air in 2001. This episode is also the episode that introduced Patrick's parents. No, not these two, Herb and Margie. Only for that to intentionally be thrown out the window in 2021 when this piece of shit claims that these two pieces of shit are Patrick's actual parents, despite these parents reappearing again later in the series. Albeit only like once or twice, but still. Disregarding that, this episode is considered one of the few bad episodes from the earliest years of SpongeBob. While this era of SpongeBob in particular has so many great episodes, it's not perfect. There are a few episodes that aren't as positively rated, and this is one of them. It's notorious with characters laughing at SpongeBob for something that's completely unfair to him, and the characters show no sign of remorse. Wait, why does that sound so familiar? Alright, it happened earlier in the season. However, I have heard some people say that this episode is a bit overhated and it did a bit more better than that episode. But before we can make that claim, let's watch this episode and meet who I will always consider Patrick's real parents. So the episode starts up and SpongeBob comes over to Patrick's house while he's cleaning his house in a very panicked manner and makes furniture out of sand. SpongeBob tries to ask Patrick what's wrong, but Patrick just gets mad at SpongeBob before he breaks down and begs for SpongeBob's help. He gives SpongeBob a note from his parents saying they were coming out tomorrow for Starfish Day. Did he get that message the exact day before Starfish Day, or did it just happen to work out? Patrick was worried about looking dumb in front of his parents, so SpongeBob suggested introducing Patrick's parents to a real dummy so Patrick would look smart. SpongeBob volunteered to be the dummy, and Patrick happily agreed. The next day, two starfish named Janet and Marty arrived, and they claimed he recognized them that time. Then they patronized him by holding his hands, taking him inside the house, letting go on the count of three, and claiming he put the beverages in something that year. When they kissed him, SpongeBob arrived wearing his karate helmet. Gary warned SpongeBob to be careful, but SpongeBob claimed nothing could go wrong. There are reasons you should listen to your pet instead of the government. Patrick introduced Janet and Marty to SpongeBob, and he started acting very stupid, misinterpreting everything Patrick was saying, and Janet and Marty started looking upon his weird antics, such as his unhealthy lifestyle of living in a fruit. It's true, you gotta live in a sandwich instead. SpongeBob stayed for dinner, and after they ate, he started making various sounds and acting stranger than ever. As things go on, Patrick starts to make things worse by saying his clothes and physical appearance were a result of him being such a fing dummy. They start laughing at him, and when SpongeBob starts to talk again, they don't take him seriously at all. As if they've never heard him say a single word before. SpongeBob brings Patrick into the kitchen, and it turns out Patrick had forgotten about the plan of SpongeBob pretending to be stupid and started to think he actually was dumb at this point. Patrick did allow SpongeBob to act smart now, so he took off his helmet. SpongeBob confesses to Jan and Marty that he was only acting stupid so they would appreciate Patrick more. He tried to properly introduce himself, but they thought that Patrick had just taught him how to talk in full sentences, which Patrick confirmed was true. SpongeBob started to get mad, and no matter how much he tried to prove he wasn't actually a dummy by doing math, they just didn't believe he was truly smart. SpongeBob got more furious, but Patrick, Janet, and Marty just laughed at him. The laughing goes on and on and on until SpongeBob finally snaps and runs through Patrick's wall, never to be seen again. Until the next episode, of course. With SpongeBob gone, Marty said that upon witnessing SpongeBob's actions, he said that he and Janet have realized just how intelligent they think Patrick became. But when they state their names, Patrick realized they weren't his real parents. Then Squidward arrived with Patrick's actual parents, Herb and Margie. Patrick was overjoyed to see them. When they said he recognized them and he was wearing clothes, they all laughed. Janet and Marty remembered they have no son and left. 
Patrick's Rock slammed on him, Herb and Margie, and the episode ends. And Jen and Marty know Patrick's name and house. Why? So that was I'm With Stupid. I do have some rants to do here, but before I do that, I want to talk about what I like about it. I like how Patrick was concerned about what his parents do think about him. It shows that he loves them and wants to impress them and values their opinion. Wanting to please or impress your parents is definitely a big deal to some people. It's nice that he cares and doesn't completely disregard them or something. Before things go downhill, there are some nice moments between Spongebob and Patrick showing that they are good friends sometimes, such as Patrick willingly opening up to Spongebob about his parents and how Spongebob offers to help by pretending to be an idiot. I love how fed up Patrick looks when Jen and Marty are patronizing him, as well as his laugh in this shot. Say what you will about Spongebob's breakdown scenes here, but scenes like this show that even Spongebob has limits too. <coughs> Season 10. <coughs> I also just like the way he yells, "No!" right here for some reason. All of his stupid actions here are executed well. The misinterpretations here make sense, and they're pretty funny too. Spongebob's various actions are funny as well, especially when he stands on his nose. And let me tell you, I'm still trying to do that myself. The ending, while the twist is kind of dumb, it's sweet when Patrick reunites with his real parents. And as usual, we have some iconic lines and gags, especially, WHO ARE YOU PEOPLE? I remember my first time seeing this as a kid. For some reason, I thought this was the episode where Spongebob and Patrick take care of Junior the Scallop as parents themselves. I think it was Patrick mentioning his parents that made me think that. I viewed most of seasons 1, 2, and 3 out of order, and saw episode 98, Rockabye Bival, from season 3 before this episode. I didn't see the title cards for either of them yet the first time I saw them, but it was the part where Janet and Marty arrived where I realized this was a different episode. I guess I'm just as dumb as a starfish. And that's all the main positives I have about this episode. Now let's get to what you all came here for. My rant. I do agree that the twist does feel kinda dumb. With Patrick thinking that Janet and Marty were his parents, how long has it been since he last saw them? Starfish Day sounds like an annual thing, so it wasn't last year? I think that can be chalked up to his forgetfulness. But if Janet and Marty have no son, why were they at Patrick's house in the first place, and how do they know Patrick's name, or his house? It just makes less sense the more you think about it. The bad twist aside, let's talk about how Patrick acted. Now I do agree that Patrick is a jerk here. Making fun of Spongebob's physical appearance isn't the worst thing he's done, but this was where it was clear that he definitely started taking things too far. Patrick did criticize things like Spongebob's eyes, teeth, etc. in episode 68, Frank and Doodle, but that worked because he was referring to Doodle Bob when he said those things, and felt bad when he realized he was indirectly referring to Spongebob as well. Here, he laughs at Spongebob's face and makes fun of Spongebob for having eyelashes. During their private conversation, Patrick still thought Spongebob was being stupid when they were talking about having a plan. And even when Spongebob confesses it was all an act, Patrick still claims Spongebob was an idiot. Yes, I know Patrick was trying to impress his parents, but if you want to impress your parents by looking smart, just show them a report card or something. What, was this Spongebob's comeuppance for not listening to Gary's warning? Or Spongebob being upset when he realizes Patrick's problem doesn't require the funnel? Patrick also doesn't even apologize or seem to care after Spongebob had his breakdown. And even if Spongebob was actually not very smart, it's still pretty rude to laugh at somebody just because they're not intelligent. And considering the plan worked, he didn't show any remorse or even admit that it was a plan himself. The laughing can also get annoying. It just goes on and on and doesn't seem to want to end at various parts in this episode, not just the ending. And the echo effect during this sequence really just feels like this sequence in particular shouldn't have been in the episode at all. It's pretty clear by this point that Spongebob is about to explode by everybody belittling him. I don't think we need a shot like this. However, I do think it goes a bit deeper. Instead of just being a jerk, I personally think that Patrick had just forgotten Spongebob was being an idiot. Not only is Patrick kind of dim and forgetful himself, but Spongebob had taken things pretty far by this point, and Spongebob just didn't realize it until too late. With everything that happened that day, and all the various stories and jokes he was making to Janet and Marty, Patrick probably got so caught up in the moment that he didn't remember the whole thing was a plan all along. And Patrick, Janet, and Marty were mostly looking at each other the whole time when they were laughing, not laughing right in Spongebob's face every single time. 
I don't think this was completely mean-spirited, and it could have been worse. But regardless, it's still not nice to make fun of somebody just because they're not smart. Which is the segue to our next topic. As previously stated, Spongebob was unfairly made fun of for his appearance, and everybody claimed that he was just stupid in general. In episode 52, Grandma's Kisses, Spongebob's grandma kissed him, and Squidward and the other customers at the Krusty Krab are just 7-year-old jerks and made fun of him for having a loving relationship with a family member. And they were relentless too, laughing in his face and stalking him and his grandmother at the very end. Both of these scenarios are pretty bad. But which is worse? Being laughed at for being kissed by your grandma? Or being laughed because nobody believes anything you're saying and they just think you're dumb? Well, let's analyze it. In both episodes, no characters feel remorse for making fun of Spongebob. In Grandma's Kisses, Spongebob gets a happy ending for the most part but the moment is ruined when we learn that Squidward and the other customers were spying on him. In I'm With Stupid, Patrick, who was teasing Spongebob, still gets a happy ending when he's reunited with his real parents and we don't see how Spongebob felt after he ran away. The teasing in this episode technically lasts longer than it does in Grandma's Kisses, but it's only inside Patrick's house and Patrick, Janet, and Marty are the only people teasing him. Squidward and the Krusty Krab customers tease Spongebob in public, and there were more than just three people. It also started as soon as Spongebob's grandma kissed him, whereas in I'm With Stupid, the teasing only starts after Spongebob was being weird and taking those weird actions too far. It didn't start immediately as he did his first actions, but most importantly, the teasing in Grandma's Kisses started out of something he couldn't control. The teasing from I'm With Stupid ultimately came from the plan to make Patrick look smart. So things started out fine, but escalated quickly when Spongebob acted absolutely bizarre. He did nothing unusual in Grandma's Kisses and was just laughed at immediately. So with all that in mind, I would say the embarrassment in I'm With Stupid outweighs that in Grandma's Kisses, even if it's by a slight margin. So with all that being said, I don't think this is a horrible episode, but it's definitely one of the few weaker episodes in Season 2. While there are some things I like, I can say that about every episode this season, or the whole series, but I do wish Patrick was shown apologizing and sharing that stupid misunderstanding about Janet and Marty not being his actual parents. But above all that, Spongebob still forgot his karate helmet, so that's also heartbreaking. I Was Stupid is an okay episode, not one that I would immediately want to rewatch again, but it's still far from the worst. But of course, that means it's far from the best too. If there's anybody out there who says this episode is completely mean-spirited, I implore you to watch what you say to your significant other. I also do care about wanting my parents to be proud of me, so if there's anybody out there who feels the same way I do, the worst and most stupid thing you can do in front of your parents is becoming an anti-human being.